And stop judging Ghana, Ghana rice as Ghana rice. Hmm. Vet each brand. Align with each brand and the standardization that people put in there. When you start rewarding people for the brands and the standards that they deliver, people will also start investing in shaping their processes to meet the standard to win your heart. Hmm. For us, we are in there for the customer. Is the possibility here? It is. I tell you the truth. In fact, I've just asked that they bring you rice for you to look at Google Rice. I wish every rice to can right now. And you see, and they should bring it. Which one? Do you know whichever it is? They bring it and see whether when we put it, we'll do this. You'll be able to tell which one is which. You won't. Mm. The other thing about Ghana rice or rice made in Ghana, for us, you have fresh crop. It's practically from factory to, to plate. Mm -hmm. But the ones that you take coming from Asia, the people first of all are wise. They don't eat the one that they've stored and stored and stored. That one is more like their buffer stock. They eat the fresh rice. Then the one that they are going to replenish as the buffer stock for food security is what they ship here. So they take fresh one back into the silos, take out old rice and ship it to Africa. Then we too, we are here happy and dancing. Yeah, we've got rice. You are eating substandard. Optimal standard is right here. But we must actually deliver it in a way that meets the customer's needs. That is where we have gotten it wrong on the policy side. But some of us are taking investments to make sure we deliver it. Some people have complained about price. And I tell people, yes, I would rather charge you a premium and deliver the standard than give you substandard and have you judge me like you have been judging everybody. Because as long as you can actually even pay foreign rice much higher than the one I'm pricing, then I don't think I'm overpriced. But yeah, thankfully, I'll tell you a few things that happened. And during the Christmas, there are a lot of issues about <coughs> price. Party was going for what, 2300 Today, party is practically 6000 It is now that we've gone to this new arrangement with our farmers to try and get it back. So for our Google funds, hopefully next week you should get a better price. And we are not short on selling. Our only problem really is that we are not getting the, the, the premium shells. You go to Malcolm, at best maybe you see copper. Once a while, you want access, you are hardly getting access there. But they are putting everything Chinese, Indian, Pakistan on their table. You go to ShopRite, I don't think they've ever sold any Ghanaian rice. There's no shelf for it. And these are the things that policy must do. Because, when you because have this where the money is coming from, that's where the decisions and, are, are, made. are made and you see the other thing too you have to realize that look all these imports and there's and the things the gimmicks that go in there and we all know what happens at the ports the tax evasion is massive when we sit back and look at the pricing that they actually put for some of the produce and you work back to the world market price for these rice it doesn't make sense our own people are conniving with importers all right to actually breach the sustainability of the market hmm. and that's why i said that if we really want to fix this and government saying that we want to ban rice, we want to do this, it's all English. Government's action must actually support the sustainability of it. Forgive me, I'm going to a little preaching mood. Nine days, I'm doing Exodus 5 1. Let my people go. <laughs> Can please pay us the money? Let's go. 